What's up guys, I'm Yorkster Scammer and I'm back with another Pokemon news video. That is something I've wanted to say again for a long time. Um, if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that um, last year, um, before Sun and Moon came out, for like the nine months that uh, we knew about it before it came out, I covered all the news we knew about the game. And I haven't, you know, we haven't had any Pokemon news to cover in a long time. I did let's play that game, then I lost my 3DS case unfortunately, so I lost that game. Um, and I, so I never ended up doing um, a little bit of the posts. I did some of the post-game stuff, but I wasn't able to do all of it. I never was able to get to the competitive scene with that game, because, you know, unfortunately, I lost it. Um, I lost, like, all my DS games. It was ridiculous. But, um, that's not what we're worrying about right now, because look at the screen. Do you see what this is? Tomorrow, June 6th, 2017, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, some other time. I don't, I don't know where you live, but I'm sorry, but you could... Try, hopefully you can calculate where that is where you live. There's gonna be a Pokemon Direct. This is insane. This is insane to me. One week before E3. Exactly one week and two hours before Nintendo's E3 did press digital of digital video whatever they call it. Like their digital event, I think that's what they call it now. Um, which is on the thirteenth at noon. They're having a direct. That's crazy. That's insane. I know like in May, like a month ago, there was a lot of rumblings that they would have a, a Pokemon Direct. Uh, or not even a Pokemon Direct. Okay, so there's a lot of problems that they would have a Direct, um, and then some people thought it was a Pokemon Direct, and I was, I was skeptical. I was, I thought they would have a Direct, but I was like, oh, um, it's not going to be Pokemon, it's going to be probably for something else, because the reason I thought they would have Direct is because they cleared a space off, like, in their Direct archive, they opened up a slot, which is what they usually do before there's a Direct, um, and then, but then, a week later, or maybe like a week and a half later, the Arms Direct was announced. So I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, it's, it's the Arms Direct, it's not a Pokemon Direct, I don't know why people were thinking it was gonna be, there was going to be a Pokemon Direct, because I personally didn't think there was any evidence that suggested it, but BAM! Look at this! Look where we are right now! Look, look, look what this is, one month later. Pokemon Direct, tomorrow, June 6th, just a week before E3. Even the people who were really hopeful about it, and really thought it was going to happen, had given up on the idea, because it's a week before E3! What? That's insane! They're having a Direct a week before E3, and you know what that means! Pokemon, last, the last Pokemon Direct, I think the only other Pokemon, no, actually, no, they had a Direct for X and Y, at least one, um, but yeah, they had a Pokemon Direct in February of 2016, and that was when they first announced Pokemon Sun and Moon, and gave us, like, no information about it, we knew, like, nothing about it for a month and a half, and then they finally revealed more to us in April, and that was when they revealed Pokemon Sun and Moon, it was, like, a 12-minute Direct, and there was just, like, a bunch of nostalgia stuff, like, talking about, I think that was when they announced Red and Blue being on the eShop, and they talked about, like, the... 20th anniversary and they like, talked about some merchandise and they had like a promo video, but they barely showed anything of the game. But that was a 12 minute direct. This is gonna be an 8 minute direct, so they're not gonna have time to show a lot of stuff. But oh my gosh, there ha there's um one thing I so I guess today I'm gonna talk about how excited I am and what I what my predictions are and what I feel about all the possibilities. And I'm just so pumped, guys. Pokemon is my favorite franchise of all time. My favorite. And my favorite video game of all time, my favorite video game of all time, is Pokemon Diamond or Platinum. I don't know which I like better, but they're mostly the same game. Um, that's my favorite game of all time, my favorite soundtrack of all time. My, uh, my first Pokemon games, your game, Diamond was my first Pokemon game. And uh, uh, those games are just amazing, and I'll be talking about more about those later, because oh my gosh, we got maybe something about them is happening. And no matter what happens tomorrow, like, I'm just so excited. And I assume it's got to be a main series game, right? Because I don't think they would have a Pokemon Direct for something like a new Pokemon game or a new uh, a new spin-off or even multiple new spin-offs or anything like that. Because people know, or Nintendo knows, and Game Freak knows, whatever, how hyped people get about Directs. They've only ever done Directs talking about their main series games in the past. There's got to be a brand new main series game now tomorrow. I don't mean brand new, like new generation. I don't think that will happen. But, you know, either a Stars or a remake or something like that. Maybe one on the Switch. Um, but whatever it is, there, it's, assuming there is a main series game, it's like, there's gotta be, right? That's, that's gotta happen. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. Um, wow. I really want to do my reactions to, to, uh, I'll get to my predictions in a second, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just over, I'm just filled with hype that I, that I'm, like, having trouble containing it. Pokemon is the number one series that will get me so excited. Ooh, I excited something. Oops. That was right. Um, that will get me so excited. Oh, it's, oh my gosh. Pokemon's just so amazing. I'm just, I'm really excited. But it's, I've gone on enough. You guys don't need to hear about how excited I am. You know it. You could tell. You could understand how excited I am. And you guys are probably very excited too, if you're anything like myself or like me. I, myself is not the correct word there. But um, uh, 
I want to do my reactions to this really badly, but you know, I will be in school, so I can't unfortunately, and I'm not going to be able to wait till after school to watch this, my friends. Um, and it will be spoiled to me by Nintendo Nick if I don't watch it right when it happens. Um, he actually is the one who told me that, like, because before the Sun and Moon Direct, the titles got leaked, and he's the one who told me those, and I was, I was upset. It's like, I would rather find that out on my own, because that was all we really found out in that direct. But, um, I'll be in Spanish class at that time. Um, hopefully I'll be able, it's only eight minutes long, I think I should be able to just, like, hold my phone under my textbook and, like, have my earphones in, and she wouldn't really do, do anything about it for those eight minutes. Um, because she, she, like, my friend who's at text because, like, has happened in, like, the whole period and watches Netflix, and she catches him, like, once a week, so. Uh, or maybe she just doesn't care, and then everyone, once a week, she's like, alright, I've had enough of this. Either way, I think I should be able to get away with it. Let's get into predictions! What are the possibilities? be announced at this Pokemon Direct. Um, also, let me know your predictions in the comments below, and let me know what you're excited for, your predictions, and also your hopes, your dreams, everything you could possibly want. Um, well, first of all, there's, so, I mean, I, it's only 8 minutes, so, and the Pokemon Sun and Moon Direct was 12 minutes, but even in that 12 minute video, or Direct, they didn't just talk about Pokemon Sun and Moon, even though it was a main, new, a brand new generation, they also had a minor announcement, they had a, the announcement of Pokemon Red and Blue and Yellow and Green, or no, not Green, Green, it's not the Americas, but uh, you know what I mean. They had the announcement of those going on the eShop, the Virtual Console to be specific, so I think that my phone, like a reminder, sorry, because um, so I have some notes on my phone, and um, I so I think there's a good chance that this will not just be the announcement of a main series game, but also uh, we'll get, a, I think we'll get a minor announcement before that, because, like, since it's probably not going to be a new generation, at least I don't think so, um, so we just had a new generation less than a year ago, I don't know if they would really have eight minutes to talk about for, just like, say, for example, Pokemon Stars, which is, like, what could be a remake of Pokemon Star Moon, um, but maybe they could just, like, talk to the developers for five minutes or do random stuff like they did last time, but I do think, even though it's only eight minutes, I think there's a good chance they'll have a different announcement first and then a main series announcement. Um, but let's talk about the, the big stuff, the main series announcements first, what it could be. The number one thing that I think it most likely is, um, and a lot most people think it's most likely is, is Pokemon Stars. Pokemon Stars has been a rumor since like r before even Pokemon Sun and Moon came out, and there have been some fairly credible sources, uh, including um, that have like like uh, commented on it and said like how they think it's true. Euro Gamer was the original one that uh, like started the rumor. Euro Gamer is pretty credible. There are a lot of things Hero Gamer has said that have not come true yet. Um, not regarding Pokemon, but to other stuff like Mother 3, for example. But, like, I do think Mother 3 is coming true eventually. I've looked a lot into those leaks. and So I think I think Hero Gamer is really credible, and they predicted, they correctly predicted a lot of the stuff about the Nintendo Switch before anyone knew about it, so they clearly got some inside news. So I really do think it's Pokemon Stars. Even without any leaks or anything, I think a third version of Pokemon Sun and Moon is the most credible, and I'll, is the most likely I'll get into why in a second. But given what even the, like, Eurogamer is very credible. And also, Game Explain, um, they, their video about Pokemon Stars, right after Eurogamer made that news, they talked about how they were already had heard of the rumor, but they didn't make the video because they didn't want to be the one to announce it, because, like, they could get in trouble or something, I don't know. Um, so that gives it even more credibility. Game Explain is very credible. Um, so I do think Pokemon Stars is what's happening. If, assuming, let's say it is Pokemon Stars, I do not think this game will be on the Nintendo 3DS. I really don't. Um, I, and... People maybe think it's weird that they would have Pokemon Stars when they didn't have a third version for the uh, for X and Y. But there's a, like I think that it's just because maybe they didn't want to have a third version for X and Y because there isn't really anything new that they could do with it. Um, so it's because like like Black and White they had didn't have a they had a third and fourth version. They had Black and White too, so they started to mix it up. And then maybe for X and Y they didn't just want to go backwards and just have Z unless they had something really new to do with it, and then maybe they didn't, so they decided not to, and maybe they took that year off in order to make Sun and Moon do better. I don't know. I don't really know why they didn't do Z. If these, I think, actually, I think, because Z would sell amazingly, even if it was just the same game as X and Y. I think the reason was they wanted to make sure they got Sun and Moon out in 2016 before the Switch came out, because I think the reason they did that is because once when Sun and Moon come out, they don't want it competing with the Switch, because Pokemon is, like, their most, like, it's, like, one of the, it's probably their biggest selling franchise, like, on average per release, I'm not sure, but, like, per gener, like, Sun and Moon sold so much, just all the Pokemon games sold so much, I would say, I would guess that Pokemon is their, on average, the main series Pokemon games is their best selling series, I don't know that for sure, but that's right, that's my guess, um, and so I think that they didn't want, that they wanted Sun and Moon to come out before the Switch came out, and then I think that they also, because of that, 
And that one of the reasons for that is because they then, when the Switch came out, they wanted to have the third version, Stars. And that could be really good because Pokemon is a system seller. Pokemon is the reason so many people have 3DSs. So many people have 3DSs just for Pokemon. It's insane. So any Pokemon game, main series Pokemon game on the Switch would sell, would make it sell like hotcakes. It really would. Um, maybe like Stars wouldn't do as much. Like one thing that just makes me a little like I don't quite understand is why they put Sun and Moon on the 3DS at all. If I was Nintendo, like what I feel like I would have done is just made Pokemon Z for the 3DS in like 2015 or 2016, maybe like spring of 2016, and then in fall of 2017 have Pokemon Sun and Moon, the brand new generation, come out on the Switch, and that would get so many people to buy it because it's a brand new generation, and they want people to buy the Switch. Um, so I don't know, maybe the, I feel like that's what they would have done. Maybe it was too late. They already started working on Sun, Sun and Moon on the ground up for the ground uh, from the ground up on the 3DS, so that maybe they wanted. Uh, um, so that, like, it just makes sense to make it on the 3DS, but they could still have stars on the Switch, which would be, because there's, and there's also another reason that it's most, I think stars is going to be on the Switch, is because, um, like, it's, there's a super easy, like, way for, like, modders, hackers, I don't know what the right word is, to put, uh, sun, make Sun and Moon's graphics in HD. It's just, like, a, like, simple coding that you have to do, from my understanding of it, I don't obviously understand it completely, but apparently it's really simple to change Sun and Moon to HD, um, to HD 1080p visuals, and they'll get rid of the board. So I think they did that in order to prepare for the Switch port, um, Pokemon Stars. And like an example, like if you watch Shofu's Wi-Fi battles, um, he I think did that, or I don't know if he still does. Um, like he used those visuals uh, in his videos, so you can like maybe check that out if you want to know what I'm talking about. So I don't know. I just think that's super, I've gone so many tangents. I can't forget what I was saying, but I think that makes sense for them to have Stars on the Switch because um, it doesn't really make sense for it to be on a 3DS. Because why would they have... I don't know. I mean, of course it does make sense. Like, they've done th plenty of third versions in the past with not much new stuff, but they've all sold incredibly well. So it makes sense. I think it just makes more sense for them to do it on the Switch. The only thing that makes me a little... I, I don't know. It's, a, it's just a little weird, maybe, that they're doing a Direct separate from E3. But, because, like, if it was on the Switch, I feel like they'd want to do it in their main Direct. Because then all the games, media sites, all the games, you know, from sites, IGN games, would be like, Pokemon is on home consoles, but then Nintendo Switch is going to sell so well. Um, but if it's not part of E3, if it's part of its own thing, maybe it, it wouldn't get as much attention. So maybe, maybe that's a hint that's not on the Switch. However, that's also maybe it would get more attention since it's by itself, as opposed to if it's during E3, there's so much stuff, and like it could get buried in all that information. Um, by the way, the fact that they're not showing this at E3 gets me so so hyped for Nintendo's E3 press conference. It's gotta have so much stuff because I feel like if they're E3. Um, their digital event, not press conference, you know what I mean, their digital video, whatever it's called, digital event, I think. Um, it's, I think it's got to have a lot of new announcements, because if it didn't have a lot of new announcements, they'd probably be like, um, we need to get some more announcements in, in here to make it better. Um, all right, we'll take out the Pokemon Direct, and we'll just put the Pokemon announcement in here. But they're not doing that. So that makes me think they have so many announcements coming to E3, and I'm so hyped for that as well. Oh my gosh. But yeah, um, there's so many like reasons that I like half explained and like half like not explained. But overall, I do think that Pokemon, if it is Pokemon Stars, and uh, there are other possibilities which I'll get into soon, um, but if it is Pokemon Stars, I think that it will be on the Switch. It could be on 3DS, but I think, and also like, the, even Sun and Moon, like there's so many, like, it's just like prepared for the Switch, it seems, like the graphics, what I was talking about, and also, it doesn't use the bottom screen nearly as much as X and Y, and also, um, it doesn't have 3D, I don't think. But that's also because, like, it was using, like, literally every ounce of power the system had, but, you know. The only weird thing about it being on Switch is it, like, I would feel like they want their Switch game to be from the ground up on the Switch. But, you know, I, no, I think it makes sense, because they want, it'll take a long time, like, it takes a long time to make a game from the ground up on the Switch. Uh, and I feel like they would want that to be a new generation. However, I feel like they just want to get a game out on the Switch as quickly as possible in order to make it sell well. Um, I know you could say, well, they didn't really do that with the 3DS, you could make that argument, but... I don't know, I feel like it's different that it's a home console this time, and it makes finally makes sense for Pokemon to be on a home console, because Pokemon, I will back, back it up that Pokemon should be on a handheld. However, the Switch is a home console, I've always said Pokemon will never go to home console. But however, however this is Pokemon, this is a home console and a handheld, so it, it actually works. Um, so that's going to be really cool. But anyway, it, it might not be on the Switch, who knows. It might not be Pokemon Stars, because there are other possibilities. The second most likely possibility in my eyes, and in many other people's eyes, is a Pokemon Diamond or our Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes. Oh baby. This would I want this much more than I want Pokemon Stars. 
Um, uh, this would- I still am excited for Pokemon Stars if that's what it is, because I don't even have Pokemon Sun anymore, because I lost most of my 3DS games. Um, so then I would finally be able to, like, get into the competitive scene of Gen 7, that would be awesome. But, Pokemon Diamond Pro Remakes, man, that would be insane! That would- I would love that so much! Um, if you don't know, Pokemon Diamond slash Platinum, I don't- I think I said this one in the video, but... I don't know which one I would choose, but they're my favorite games of all time. Literally, my number one favorite game ever is one of those games. Ah, oh, there's... I love those games so much. Generation 4 is just so amazing. It bring, makes me so happy. The music is so fantastic. Everything about that game, I just love it so much. It gives me... It's, it's also like... I'll admit, some of it is nostalgia, but I think it's also just a freaking amazing game. Regardless, um, it was my first Pokemon game ever in second grade, and I have just so many amazing memories of that game, hundreds of hours, so many good times, and just, those games are so good, and these remakes I mean so much to me, like, I'm not even joking, I'm, like, seriously getting sentimental. Th those games mean so much to me, the fact that they're being remake is crazy. To have your favorite games of all time be remade, I feel like that would just be so crazy, so weird so like awesome too I do, I, I do think I do not er, I don't think that I would like the remakes as much as the originals I do not think that they would surpass the originals as my favorite games of all time maybe that's because of nostalgia but I don't think so be, I don't really think that's true I think because I like I don't like Oras and, uh, or Oras as much as the original Hoenn games and it's just I don't really know quite the reason I just think I like the style of generation I think the styles of generation 3, 4, and 5 is the best of the series like I love the look of those games I love the sprites of those games um, it's a lot better than I think Gen 1 and 2 sprites because they're a lot better but then I, I really don't like um, how the games look in Gen 7, 6 and 7 um, it was really cool when I first saw it and stuff but I'm just I think I just like the sprites better I like it them better as sprites I don't know why maybe it's just me um, maybe it is nostalgia I don't, I don't think so maybe it is um, I just really am a fan of like sprites you know so, I don't think I would like it as much as the originals. And also, the music of Diamond and Pearl is so good. And I don't think... And, and some of these remix tracks, if they remake Diamond and Pearl... I mean, I do think they'll remake... I, I think they'll inevitably... Inevitably remake Diamond and Pearl. I just don't know if that's this announcement or not. Maybe that's a year or two years from now. But, uh... The music would... Oh, the music of Diamond Pearl is so good. All that piano. And some of the remixes would be amazing. But I don't know if I would like them as much as the original. Um, but I would probably still love them and get so- I spent so many hours just listening to the Pokemon Diamond soundtrack. Like, I just, like, when I'm, like, doing homework or just doing something else. But it's so good. It's my favorite soundtrack of all time also. Well, actually, I'm not quite sure about that. I think it is, but there are other contenders. You know, Undertale, um, Smash Bros, if that counts, because, like, that has 500 amazing songs. And Rhythm Happy Games are really amazing, too. But I think Pokemon would be number one. And, oh. And if it's a Pokemon Diamond Pro Remix, I th I've said this for years. Um, I say this with my cousins, uh, uh, Jimmy and Timmy, Timmy XBC and Kili, and you might know from some of my old streams a while back. Um, they, like, I've always said to them, or I've been saying them for years, the day that a po Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Remix come out, or release, or whatever, or I mean, or um, I don't know if it's announced or come out, probably when they, get, it's probably both, it's probably like a two part thing. But the day when a Pokemon Diamond, when Pokemon Diamond Pro Remix happen, is the day my childhood, like, ends. Like, that marks the end of my childhood. That's insane. That's gonna be crazy. Like, those games are my childhood. So, they're being, if they're being remade, like, they came out 11 years ago. That's, no, that's not true. They came out 11. Someone said that. I think, uh, oh, you know what? I think uh, Sarabi said that in the discussion with Game Spain, but I don't think they actually, maybe in Japan they came out, like, in fall 2006? When did they come out? So, yeah, they definitely came out in 2006 in, like, Japan, I think. But not in America, right? Um, because I got those games in second grade, which is 2000, which was either 2007 or 2008. But I think I got it in fall of 2007. So maybe it came out in spring of 2007 in the Americas, or maybe even in the fall of 2007. But it definitely came out in 2006 in Japan, because I remember that from the, uh, Sun and Moon advertisement video. A quick funny story, when I uh, heard the announcement of this direct, I was, uh, like, just, like, eating some food at home, like, an hour or two hours ago, and I just, like, went back and watched, uh, one or two of my, uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon news videos just for nostalgia since I was about to make a new news video, and, uh, um, what was it? And the advertisement, like, the YouTube ad on the video was that Pokemon Sun ad. It was, like, you know, like, two, 1996, 2001, you know, like, from the original Pokemon Sun direct, 
um, when it showed all the games, I was like, what? And that's how I know Pokemon Diamond was 2006, because that's what it said. It was like 2006, 2007. But then I guess to 2016, and it just showed one of those stupid rip-off Pokemon mobile games. You know, it's really weird. There's a lot of, like, fake Pokemon mobile games going around that are somehow getting away with advertising on YouTube. And it's very funny. Like, the advertisement will just be, like, f like 30 seconds from the anime. And then it'll just be, like, Monster Park. Or something like that. Or it'll be, like, just, like, 30 seconds of Pokemon gameplay. And then it'll be, like, download this app. That has, like, it's just, like, so weird. Um, but, yeah, Pokemon Diamond Pro Remix would mean so much to me. It really, it really would. And that is, I think, what I'm hoping for above Pokemon Stars. That would be incredible. That would... I, I literally have got, got chills earlier just thinking about the possibility of Pokemon Dying to put remakes. That's, I hope that's what this is. If that's what it is, I, I don't know. I'm going to like cry or something. That's going to be crazy. I love those games so much. Um, and of course, another like slight possibility like is people are like getting excited about this. Like, oh, it could be a new generation of Pokemon. Generation 8. I, I highly doubt it. Do not, I don't think you should get your hopes up. Uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon literally just happened last year, not even a year ago. There's no chance. I mean, of course, there's a tiny chance, but there's like no way they would announce a new generation this early. They've never had no no other games in between, no other main series games in between generations. Of course, they've never done a lot of things. They've never not had a third version if they did that last generation. But you know, who knows? Um, but yeah, it does not. I highly doubt it's a new generation. So I wouldn't get your hopes up, but who knows? And then one other thing, one other possibility for these main series games that I'd like to touch on is that. Some people have been saying maybe it's another remake of Red and Blue, because the tradition has always been every uh, uh, there's a remake when your generation when your uh, it was it's like when your games are two systems old, right? No, not necessarily. So it was two. It was here's what it is. It was every time you go to a new piece of hardware, it's a new remake. So you start on the Game Boy, right? And then I mean I guess Game Boy Color, but I don't know, forget Game Boy. It, you go to the Game Boy Advance, alright, remake of Pokemon Red and Blue. Then, you go to the DS, remake of Pokemon Heart Gold and Full Silver. Then, you go to the 3DS, remake of, of uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Or sorry, remake of Gold and Super 4, and then remake of Gold and Sapphire. So now, we, we did Generation 3, but you know what's still in Generation 3? Like, it would make sense maybe to remake Fire Red and Leaf Green. Some people are thinking that. Because, Fire Red and Leaf Green is older, are older than Diamond and Pearl. So maybe that should get a remake, and then Diamond and Pearl. I don't think that... that Logic is perfectly sound because even though like then you can then you have to eventually just keep remaking the games that were already remade, you know? And then like then what do you remake? Diamond and Pearl, then you remake Gold and Silver again, and then you remake like Black Black Might, which get kind of messy. But that's definitely possible. Um, it is definitely a possibility that they'll remake Red and Blue again. Uh, I don't think or Green Red and Blue Green whatever you want to say. Uh, I don't think that's what's going to happen. But that is just like hey, you know who knows? Maybe that is what's going to happen. That would be really cool. Or maybe it's even, someone even suggested maybe it's even a sequel and you go and like see Lily because Lily left the Kanto at the end of Sun and Moon. And of course there's have been a lot of uh, uh, Red and Blue, like there are Gem 1 references and everything, but there's always Gem 1 references in every game for, just for like nostalgia and stuff, so I don't think that really means anything. Also, oh, some more hints for Gen 4 remakes I forgot to mention. There's like a new movie coming out for the anime sometime later, I don't know, maybe later this year. Um, it hasn't come out yet, that's for sure. And I think it's a retelling of the original movie. But Lucario and Piplup are in it. Like, the main characters are, like, Charizard, Pikachu, and, like, Lucario and Piplup, and, like, one other. Um, it's not a gen, it's, like, a gen, I don't know, I don't know what it is, I'm sorry. Maybe, like, maybe it's, like, oh, oh, I think it's, uh, the new, the, shoot, the, the new, uh, mythical Pokemon? Marshadow, that's what, I'm sorry, I forgot what it was called. Uh, because, you know, that's not been released, and I don't want Pokemon Sun anymore. But, yeah, um... So Lucario and Piplup are like main characters, so maybe people, so maybe that hints at the next games being remakes of Diamond and Pearl, since Lucario and Piplup are main characters. I've been going on way too long this video. Whatever. No, I don't. It's a direct prediction video. It can be long. It's about Pokemon. It's about hype. I'm excited. It can be long. Um, by the way, I will be doing, if assuming these are main series games, I intend, as in, there's a main series game announced, I intend to do news videos every time we get news about them, like I did for Sun and Moon. Um, so, but they probably won't be as often since, you know, I doubt it will be a new generation, but yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, but then, there's one more thing that gives a little more evidence to potentially a Red and Blue remakes. Um, is that for some reason, on the po on the Japanese Pokemon Twitter, this was pointed out to me, or not to me, so, you know what I mean, I, I saw Cerebi pointed this out. Uh, this was, um, on the Japanese Twitter, they've been randomly posting videos from the original Red and Blue, or Green, whatever, 
uh, with like six seconds of, and it's just like someone talking or something. It's like a random character talking. One of them was Professor Oak talking, but others were just like random NPCs. I don't know what they were saying because it was Japanese, but, um, like, why? Normally what the Japanese Twitter posts, if you look at the Japanese Twitter, it's Pokemon, it's like Pokemon underscore CoJP, I think, uh, C-O-J-P. It's normally just advertising for stuff that's coming out, like advertising the new Pokemon cards, advertising the new Pokemon anime and stuff, advertising the new games. But then there's just, there's just random quotes in the original game. Maybe that's just a random social media thing that's going on, but who knows? Maybe that's a little hint at a potentially red and blue remix. Um, so, yeah, that's just a little interesting thing. I still don't think that's the case. I still think Stars and Diamond and Pearl remakes are more, more likely. But I'm going to go. I'm gonna say that I think red and blue remakes are more likely than a brand new generation. Um, but I mean, I, like, there's not going to be a brand new generation just the year after. Anyway, that's pretty much what I think um, for all the possibilities of the main series game that's announced. But as I said earlier, I think um, it is only eight minutes long. So maybe that, this isn't true, but I think that the direct is going to first have a smaller announcement and then a big main series announcement. So maybe even two small announcements. But I don't know about that. That would be pushing it time-wise. So what could that small announcement be? Let's think. Well, um, there's been some. Pokemon mobile games lately that have come out, so like who knows, maybe um, like Magikarp Splash, or like Splash Magikarp or Magikarp Jump, I forget what it's called, Ma let me that right now, uh, Magikarp, yeah it's Magikarp Jump, this game called Magikarp Jump just came out um, on phones, and I'm pretty sure, did it come into the U US yet, I don't even know, no it did, it did, it did, sorry, so it, ca it came out now, never mind, um, I thought that it hadn't come out yet for some reason, um, but this mobile game is called Matchcarp Jump just came out. I don't know. It seems dumb to me. I didn't play it yet. Um, I don't know. Just weird. And uh, there's another game that was just announced, mobile game called Poké Land. So who knows? Maybe there's a tiny chance they'll talk about the, these mobile games. Like, hey, by the way, there's these new mobile games coming out. One of them's already out. Uh, Pokemon Duel came out also a few months ago. So they're just like, hey, check out these mobile games. Maybe we'll say that at the beginning. But I don't think they will do that. Pokemon usually keeps their mobile games separate from everything. And even in, uh, when the Sun and Moon Direct happened, there was uh, Pokemon like, Go. That was... I don't know, actually, that didn't come out yet, did it? It was coming soon. I don't know. Whatever. I, I just don't think they will uh, talk about mobile, but it's a tiny chance like, maybe they'll just, like, mention these things, but I don't think so. What else could they talk about? Well, my number one prediction for a smaller announcement that I think will happen is I think that they're going to announce the Pokémon Tournament port to the Nintendo Switch. Um, this is something that I not only think will happen, this, or maybe not think, but I, I think it's a fairly good chance. This is something I want to happen so badly. Um, Pokemon, Pokemon Tournament is a game for the Wii U, uh, originally released in arcades, then released onto the Wii U. Um, it's a fighting game with Pokemon characters, um, and there's only about like I don't know, maybe like what 16 characters, maybe even less. I'm not sure. I don't. I think 15 actually, um, in the main Wii U game. But then there's additional characters on the arcade version that, for some reason, the Wii U game has not gotten yet, and there's no announcement of them coming to the Wii U version, which is really weird. Um, because it's normally, like, you'd expect them to pour things to Wii U version. That would piss me off if I was a Pokémon tournament owner, but actually, unfortunately, uh, I don't own Pokémon tournament for the Wii U, even though I was so, so, so excited for that game. And the reason for that is, Smash Bros. Wii U, which came out a few months earlier, um, worked horribly for me online. Yet, the 3DS one worked amazingly online, so I was, I didn't want to get Pokémon tournament until, uh, my, I could f figure out how to work on my online better on Wii U, because I didn't want it to be full of lag. Never figured that out, so I never ended up getting it, so instead of getting it like two years later, I decided to maybe wait for a potential Switch port, and if that never happens, then I'll go back and get Pokémon one day and play it a lot. Though I did play it at my friend's house, uh, Nintendo Nick's house, and I had a lot of fun. Um, so that's a game I want to play a lot so badly, but I'm waiting for a Switch port, because I don't want what happened with Mario Kart 8 um, happen with Pokémon, because Mario Kart 8 I spent $60 on and like another $20 on the DLC and then they ported to the Switch uh, with a little bit extra content but the thing is I didn't want to pay another $60 just for a little more so I never I didn't get it um, but now like that kind of annoys me because I already paid so much money for the game you know I don't want to pay another 60 so I didn't buy Pokémon in case maybe they'll have a Switch port and they'll have a little extra content maybe they'll have those arcade characters uh, from you know the characters from the arcade version though I think that should be in the Wii version as well um, but I really like would like to see a Pokémon Tormounts Switch uh, maybe even a sequel. Maybe instead of a port, they got a, a sequel. Um, and I've been really craving fighting games lately. I played Rival. I've been playing Rivals of Aether a lot recently, and I love that game so much. I think it's my game of the year so far from what I've played. I also just got Tekken Seven uh, like two nights ago, or maybe last night. And I'm liking that. Um, still have mixed feelings on it. I've only played for like two hours so far, so I don't have any like a lot of judgments. But I've just been really craving fighting games lately. So I would love to have um, to be able to play some Pokemon Tournament. So I think that would be really cool if they had Pokemon Tournament. 
uh, either port or sequel onto the Switch. I would feel bad for people who already bought the game, but I have not, so it wouldn't bother, it wouldn't like affect me. But I would, I do feel bad for you if you already bought that game, and then they announce a port for a little more content, like what happened to me with Mario Kart 8. Um, other possibilities, um, maybe Detective Tiny Chance, maybe De Detective Peach Pikachu. Detective Pikachu was like supposed to be an episodic game, like an adventure game or something like that. Only the first episode ever released, and it only released in Japan. Never came to the U.S. for some reason, so maybe they'll announce that, or maybe they'll announce more episodes, because why? Like, it was supposed to be episodic, but there was only one episode. I don't know. I don't think that, that will be an announcement here, but that's just another little possibility that I might as well mention. Um, Pokémon is what I think will be most likely. And who knows, maybe there'll even be another another possibility. is just a new spin-off game that we just didn't know about, like maybe a new Poké Park game, or a brand new spin-off game, or something like that. Um, but who knows? And then another thing that would just make me happy is recently, uh, I've been, on the, my 3DS, I just downloaded the Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy Color. Been loving it. About 10 and a half hours in, I love that game so much. I have some issues with it, but I do love it. And there was a sequel released for the Game Boy Color, never came to the Americas. And so maybe, who knows, this, this is like almost no chance of this happening, but I just want it to happen because I've been playing the game recently. If they announce like uh, the West, like a localized version of the sequel from 20 years ago, or maybe a third game in the series, that would be amazing. Not like that's not gonna happen, but I would just love it, so I just wanted to mention it. And other than that, I don't really know what this minor announcement could be. Those are some possibilities. Maybe, like I said, it could be a brand new game we haven't heard of. And of course, um, there's just one more thing, not of course, but there's one more thing I'd like to mention. Just tiny, tiny thing. This is like a 0.01% chance this happening, but this is a game that I think would be freaking amazing. So I instead of maybe a main series game, no small game, nothing like that, instead, what if? This whole announcement was just the announcement for a Pokemon MMO on the Switch. I think that would be amazing. I think a Pokemon MMO could be fantastic. I could talk about that for an hour, so I'm not going to talk about it much in this video because this has gone on long enough. Um, but just I do think a Pokemon MMO. I just want to get that out there. I think a Pokemon MMO could be freaking incredible, but I do not think that's what's going to happen. I do not think that will happen for a very, very long time. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, I know, like, pretty much it, like, 32 minutes, that's so, that's so long for predictions for an 8 minute direct, I know, that we know nothing about, I know, maybe I went a little overboard, I'm sorry, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, um, the video, and, um, uh, what was I gonna say, so, yeah, the direct is at tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, and, uh, I won't be able to do reactions, unfortunately, but when I get home, which will be, I don't know, maybe around 5, 6, I'll start making a video, uh, another news video about what's, what happened. So stay tuned for that, and if, assuming there's a main series game, I'll most likely be doing a new series on that game. Diamond Pro Remix, man, that's what I'm hoping for. I really want to see some Diamond Pro Remix. That would be very cool. I mean, not my number one hope. My number one hope is probably an MMO, because I know Diamond Pro Remix will come eventually, but an MMO, that's not happening. I'm just crazy. Um, so yeah, thank you, thank you for watching. Please make sure to tell me what you're excited for, what you think will happen. Um, or, yeah, your, what you think will happen or what you're excited for in the comments below. And uh, please be sure to, if you want, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, uh, like, comment. I've said uh, way too much. I'm sorry. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time with more Pokemon. Baby, let's go! I, the Pokemon hype! I'm, oh, I love it. Let's go. It's gonna be a fun day.